Hello, welcome to plus two, number 17. Yes, we're getting close to 20. Nice. It is um, Saturday, the 25th of July today. And it's like, I think um, around one o'clock in the day. And I'm trying to participate in the 24 hours of cross stitch. I started yesterday in the evening, late in the evening. Um, and I think I got in at least four hours uh, before I had to go to bed of ex exhaustion. Oh, I was very tired. Uh, and I have gone through my first week of work and I'm still alive. So that's just amazing. So I'm very happy about that. And now the week is done. Now I feel a little bit more calm, just, you know, like going back. So let's just leave work. Um, yeah. So, and I did sleep in a little bit, so maybe I've stitched four or five hours. Um, yeah, four, maybe four hours. So that's like at least seven hours, but that's a lot of hours still to go. And I'm not sure I'm going to make that, but I am going to stitch a lot this weekend because it's just so wonderful. And uh, I have no finishes, but I have uh, four whips to show. So that's nice. And I have really been enjoying this week since the last floss tube. Um, I really like, um, it, I really try to enjoy, you know, every stitch, every hour, every little moment I've been able to sit down and stitch. Um, because, you know, uh, work, food, uh, you know, visiting my mom or whatever, everything, spending time with my family and stuff, then you don't have that many hours left for stitching. So I've really tried to enjoy it and I have really enjoyed. It's been a lot of fun. I've had the four projects I've been like working on. So yeah, a, a wonderful week, really a wonderful week. So that, that feels nice. Uh, so let's start with, um, so Mondays, I usually go home to my mom. Usually it's a new Thing we started when I was off work but I went to her place Monday and after work so I wasn't there the whole day so I was there a couple of hours and I was stitching on my um, Enchanted Forest by the Owl Embroidery uh, no the Owl Forest Embroidery I always seem to get their <laughs> name wrong it's the Russian company and they have such beautiful kits. You get them in that box and you get everything you need, not the, the Q-snap. That's, that's something I added. So let's see. And I'm stitching it on 32 count Belfast Swigert linen. And I love the feel to it. I love the fabric. And this is my progress. Uh, this time, what did I do this time? Because I think I did the apples the last time I showed. So this time I was stitching the leaves. Those leaves there. And there's some greenish stuff in the, uh, the apples as well. So I only have uh, this side to do with the leaves and then the tree is done. So I hope I'll finish that next week. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy with that. always, you know, 
package everything in a proper way. And the threads I'm using are the threads that the Owl Forest Embroidery um, includes in the kit and those are variegated threads and I guess they're like hand dyed. Let's see, it says here in the back, um, let's see, where do I see it? Hand dyed threads, yeah, hand dyed threads based on the DMC cotton floss. So then you know, so and a little bit of coffee. Mm -hmm. And then I kept on working on my Mirabilia portrait of Veronica. And I'm loving it. Again, very easy stitching, very relaxing, and I enjoy that. And I have her in my quantum scroll frame. And this is the progress. Look, wow. Wow. And the needle minder I've bought from Etsy. I love those needle minders. They're like the best. Um, wow. I mean, you can see all the detail here now when I see it in the viewfinder. So that's, I think this is like a lace dress. And I have done some backstitching. Just, you see that black stuff there? Just to see how it was going to look. And all the the small dots here is going to be filled out with uh, with beads, with beads. Um, so, but I decided I'm going to stitch the whole thing um, <laughs> before I start beading this time. And uh, yeah, I was, as I said, I'm so surprised. There are a lot of black stuff in here. Black stuff. There's a lot of black uh, threads in there and it's all DMC so far and um, yeah something new that there are uh, blends in um, in the pattern so I'm blending like the the black thread and the 3808 so either I stitch with just black and then apart I stitch with just the 3808 and then there is a symbol for blending those two together and at first I was like okay I don't really like it and how's it gonna look it's gonna look messy but after a while I must say I really love the effect and it's hard to po point out but for example here so I've stitched with like black here around and then I stitch with the 3808 but between this, those two colors the blend is there and it's really blending in pretty damn pretty damn nice yes so I will continue working on my Veronica and it's perfect you know you come home you're tired and you have like maybe one two hours to stitch and it's great to just, you know, sit down and there's a lot of color blocking. So it's just, I mean, if you get a couple of threads in before it's time to go to bed, you have done some progress and that's really nice. So, so I'm very happy with her. I'm really looking forward to get more of her done because she feels so huge. Um, so that, that was two. Oh, yes. So should we look at the start or no? Let's do the heaven and earth design because last weekend, uh, I started using this wheel, uh, that's gonna choose, uh, which 
design, which heaven and earth design I'm going to stitch on because I have so many and I just want to stitch, stitch them all. And uh, so I turned the wheel and the wheel pointed out Midnight Watcher by Julie Bell uh, Vallejo. And I'm very happy that I, do. I had such a great time stitching on her. Um, I think I made quite, quite okay progress considering I've been stitching on other stuff and that I've you know that I'm back to work so this is my uh, progress it's so big so I will just talk behind here uh, I'm gonna show you on pattern keeper how much I actually got to stitch uh, so yeah I had a page done so I started stitching these this around there and uh, the colors um, let me see if I can do it like this and then you'll see my yeah my angel wings <laughs> uh, yeah but um, what was I going to say no I was I, I started parking and I wanted to kind of get rid of the page line so I decided to like cross country stitch it a little bit um, and uh, I think there was quite a lot of color bo blocking here as well it, it was simple to just you know continue with the the threads uh, so I didn't stitch one uh, grid at a time actually so um, but I mean I, you can't see that this is cross stitching. It's just amazing. So cool. Uh, and this is a uh, 25 count. It's the magic, uh, magic guide by DMC. I think it is who has these weaves. I love the feeling of it, but somehow I didn't. I usually, when I start stitching in a grid, I always start like right to the right side of the uh, red to the right of the red line and just underneath the the red line that goes here right and I always do that so the last row in the grid ends on the line and the same thing down here so uh, and somehow I have once years back when I started this I decided to start it differently or stitch it differently so the lines doesn't really help me at the moment because I don't know how I'm thinking. So I need to count a lot, but yeah, it's beautiful. Now I'm going to show you how it looks in pattern keeper because that is so cool. <clears throat> yeah, I can show you like this. Um, so here I have no, Let's just uh, so I'm gonna see if I can show you without maybe I should turn down the the light on it maybe Ooh. oh yeah I just thought of it, you know, maybe I should show you guys how it actually looks on Pattern Keeper. So this is the page I had done already. So everything outside that page is what I've stitched. Doesn't it just look so cool? I think so. I hope you can see. So that was nice. So then you could see my progress also. I think it's like uh, a fourth part of a page or maybe a third, a third part of a page. And I finished total, I finished totally 
2.47% of the whole pattern. But yeah, a lot of fun. I think I love the way I chose uh, what to stitch on. And I've been looking forward to, to, to this day all week because I'm like, I'm going to spin, spin the wheel again. And I just wonder what will be the next design I'm going to stitch on. So let's bring out the wheel. Okay, let's see. Um, here is the wheel. My head wheel. You can see the last time was Midnight Watcher. This is so exciting. Okay, let's spin. Resistance training. I'm happily surprised. I am. Uh, who is the designer of resistance training? I need to. I need to look. The boring thing with the resistance training is that it's gonna be a lot of black. Yeah. Um. No, we don't want to open it in Pattern Keeper. We want to... Um, I know I started the background and it's like all black. So it must be... Is it um, Scott Gustafsson? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I love this chart. I love his art. It's just, it's so cool. Uh, no, James C. Christensen. <laughs> I love, I love biking. I love the sport. And so that's why I got it. Um, and I thought it was pretty fa funny. Uh, oh, yeah. So I know I started the background and it's like, <laughs> it's all black. And I think I'm stitching it in 10 stitching. Um, yeah, let me go get it so we can take a closer look of how my progress, uh, progress looks uh, as it is now. I'll be right back. Yeah, so... Um, here it is. I don't have a thread pack, uh, but I did buy a big black of uh, a big cone of 310 for this uh, kit. But I've used that uh, cone for a lot of other stuff I've been stitching. So I hope there is not enough black. Um, but I mean cones. I don't know how much thread there is on on that. So <laughs> yeah. Let's see, which way is it? I think it's this way. This is the progress I have. So as you can see, it's all, it's all black. Very interesting. And I wonder, I wonder, I don't know if you can see, can you see that I've gridded out with some red fishing line there, fish line? Um, I wonder if I've graded out uh, page by page, but I'm not sure because it looks pretty square. So I need to figure out how much I've stitched. But uh, let me look. I'm like, I'm not 20 years old, so I need. <laughs> I don't know if I, I. I don't know if I need glasses or if I need better lighting to see. But um, yeah, that's tent. That's 10 stitching. So I guess I'm, I've, I've been thinking to 10 stitch the back because that just goes faster. And uh, then I will cross stitch the guy, you know. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot of color blocking on this one as well. So not so much uh, confetti. 
and uh, I wonder which count this is. Actually, I got a card from uh, Arts and Designs, and here at the top, they have different counts. So I thought maybe that could be quite helpful. I hope this is not 28 count. Um, and how am I gonna... I think it's 28 count. Ay -ay 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 -ay. And there is no 25 count too to compare with, but I have my, um, my fabric. Come here, come, come, come. Here, there. I have my 25 gray fabric for my voyage, fantastic voyage, which I didn't get to start this week because I'm gonna stitch on resistant training. But if I compare the two weaves, yeah, this is a 28 count unfortunately, but as I said last week, I'm not going to restart. I'm just going to embrace the suck and deal with the 28 count. I can do it. I can do it. I believe so. So, yes. Exciting times, really. So, so that's a three whips. I am sorry if I stall. Mm. And then I made a new start because I finally got my sulky threads, which I was going to use for my pandemic. And I talked about it um, in my last floss tube. Um, Handcraft Maniac. She explained in her floss tube the greatness of sulky thread so i was very excited about that i was very curious of the thread um so i saw an opportunity to try some kind of other thread than dmc and she was going to stitch her pandemic on with sulky threads so i thought that was a great way to do it and a great way to use the pandemic for that because I wasn't like, how's it going to turn out? Is it going to be good? Is it going to be bad? How's it going to look? Uh, do I like it or not? So I ordered white 32 uh, count even weave from Swagert. And um, I'm using the sulky thread. This is my progress. Ain't that just looking so nice? And I'm using a Q-snap and there's a lot of fabric because I'm stitching one sulky thread over two. So it's gonna be huge. But it's nice, I started stitching in hand last night uh, but mm, I like stitching in hand when I go from top to bottom or from left to right um, but now I started in, in the middle so it didn't feel very well and I noticed that the thread got very torn easily and then it's like it's a reddish um, thread so it was leaving like red stains on the fabric and I didn't like that so then I put it in my Q-snap I tried my largest um, scroll frame but it didn't fit so but I think if I would have you know cut the edges a little bit it would have worked but then I would have to search the edges and again and I was like no let's just put it in the Q-snap I'm not gonna like spend days on it 
Uh, and then um, Handwork uh, Maniac, she, I don't know her real name. I have to find out what her name is. Anyway, she uh, used a solid color as well to highlight the animals. So I ordered two different solid sulky threads too. And I will just use them both and, you know, the result will be as it is. So I've stitched uh, the bird there in one of the colors. And the back stitching, I've chosen a DMC that matches the thread. So that's pretty nice. And I will show you that one on um, my pattern keeper as well. I didn't know that long dog, you know, that you were able to have the long dog on pattern keeper. Yay. So it makes life a little bit easier. So this is the whole pattern and this is what I've stitched so far. And it's um, 0.92% done. So I've only put in 740 stitches so far. So that's that. So those are my whips. And that's pretty nice. I will continue with them all except Midnight Watcher. She's going back into the closet. Hmm. So let's take a look at the haul. I have been lucky enough to receive some of my orders um, none from overseas or from Russia or anywhere just the European stuff so I'm still waiting there are some stuff that has been in the mail for over a month now and uh, it's a little bit annoying because I know that the I mean a lot of you know the mail offices and shipping things are starting to open up so but, uh, so I got some sulky thread, right? Uh, does it say the name of this? No, I don't think so. So I ordered the variegated thread and this one looks a lot more red in the viewfinder. It's not as red. It's a little bit more brownish, I think, actually. Like more my dress color. Um, so that's the one I fell for and it's called Red Brick or Brick Red. And then I decided to go with two different um, solid colors for this one. Because there were pictures on the computer and I wasn't sure um, how the colors would look in real life. So I was, I like the brick. It's just called brick. Uh, and it's not as red as this. It's, it's really much, yeah, it's not really my dress, but it's more this colorway. Anyway, so first I thought, you know, brick red and brick would look pretty good together. Yeah, this is more maybe, but now it looks so orange. Anyway, um, but then I wasn't sure. Um, so I got this one as well, uh, which is the one I, I stitched the bird in. Let's look at the progress again. So you can see the bird. So this, the solid color there is a little bit strong, but I think it's okay. I like it. I mean, I will just go with it. So, but I will also try to stitch uh, some things with this. And I'm thinking I want to highlight, you know, all the animals. So, Salky Thread, I ordered it from Germany. Very nice. A little bit different. And it's the, um, the 12 weight. 
uh, cotton thread. And this is the petite spools. And the other one was called the king size. Oh, come on. So that's that. And since I've made some orders on a 40 and 46 count fabrics, um, because I'm gonna start stitching those, I would say, those reproduced uh, uh, samplers from Hands Across the Sea uh, with the silk threads and stuff. I needed to order some small needles. So, and I didn't know which kind I would like. I went with the, uh, what Nicole, Nicola Parkman, her favorites that she uses. And she uses the, the John James um, beading needles and I think she's even said the petite ones so I found a place in Sweden that has the size 10 and 12 I think uh, on hands across the seas homepage you can find the information there which uh, tools they're using for stitching so I chose the 10 and 12 size and the 10 size they had both um yeah regular size i guess and yeah short and normal size so i got one each of those so there's 25 needles in each of these um so i hope they'll work just fine and yeah, for uh, cross stitching, I use uh, the size 26 or 28. Um, and I buy them in bulk, like 100 to 300 needles at a time from, I think it's Lithuania. It works for me. And what else I got? Yes, I got this. I love this. No, I will save that for last. I went to Peakside Linen. Is it called Peakside Linen? Peakside? It's a place in the UK that sells Picture This Plus. And I'm so curious of this fabric because there are so many uh, patterns that calls for the picture this plus and they have so many beautiful colors and i was like i've ordered some from uh, traditional stitches uh but it seems like there was like a three month turnaround for from picture this plus so they're sending the fabric later this fall and then i was getting a little bit kind of desperate like i want to feel the fabric i want to smell it look at it whatever i need a piece so i went to this place and, and i think it's stone cold uh, coffee crafts who has talked about it so i went over and almost everything was sold out and then i found the three pieces they still had so i ordered that and this first piece is a 28 count it must be linen yeah and it's called Tidal. Maybe I should have it. Tidal. It's a kind of a bluish. It's oh, so beautiful. And it's a fat quarter. 18 by 25 inches. It feels very small. Actually. But I'm thinking. Yeah. I. I buy almost all my hand dyed uh, fabrics for Mirabilia. So I'm thinking a mirror on this. Either one of the yeah, queens or ladies, of course, but maybe a mermaid would be nice. So that's one piece. And uh, yeah, we 
feels pretty nice. 28 count. I'm not sure if any of the mirabilias will fit on it. But... So this piece I know for sure. I can use this for something. Mm -hmm. And then I got two quite small pieces. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for. Maybe like an ornament or something. So, but this is also picture this plus a 32 count linen echo. And I love this one. Yes, very nice. It looks a little bit purplish when I'm lifting it up like this, but to me, it's pre pretty gray, grayish. Maybe if I do like this, it's more the true color. I don't know. But um, as you can see, very small piece. But um, yeah, it's kind of nice. I could try to stitch something small or test stitch something or if uh, I could do a, um, what did you call that? I lost the worst thread when you, you know, put all your threads like on a mirror uh, on it and see if it would fit. And then I could order the bigger piece. I don't know, what do you use these small pieces of fabric for? I don't know. I don't stitch that small things. <laughs> And the other one is also picture this plus 32 count and it was doubloon. So this is, um, the first one was a fat quarter and the two last here is um, not a fat eight, a fat 16. So nine inches by 13. And this is doubloon. So I saw, I think it was, um, Pam in uh, Just Keep Stitching, who stitched one of her samplers, I think, on a doubloon. So I was very curious of the color on this and it's pretty nice, very nice. So I like this uh, variegated fabric. So I remember last Christmas I won uh, <clears throat> one of these small patterns from um, um, Michelle Bendy Stitchy. Uh, and that was like a, a little salt, salt box. So I think I could stitch. I think I will stitch that on, on this. So that's fabric. And then I wanted a floss body for my fantastic voyage to keep the threads organized. So I've been waiting for that. And it finally came. Uh, and it's um, Bags Plus, who has, where I ordered it from on Etsy and it's uh, Alice in Wonderland. I don't bother too much about the front. And this is how it looks on the inside. So it's a 90 plus plus buddy with 90 uh, pockets so what you do is see if I can here I have some leftover floss So what you do is here I have a paper bobbin with some thread and you just, you know, put it in the pocket here. Like so. How cool isn't this? And you can turn it upside down, 
shake it and it's not gonna fall it's not gonna go anywhere and she has put this little thing here and I guess if you have some specialty threads or maybe yeah something you want to you can stick it there you can have your if you have like a marker or something you can have the pen there whatever um, but the thing is that when I I'm gonna do this maybe later in the evening or something I don't know um, I'm gonna organize all the threads that the fantastic voyage needs and then you know it's just you open and you have all the threads in num numerical order is that how is you call it yeah from one to from one to ten in order and you can just pick the bobbin take the thread and stitch instead I have nine organizing boxes where you have I think there is 90 colors in each so I have five of them with the complete DMC and I don't have a thread pack for my fantastic voyage so instead of you know looking through all the boxes all the time I will just pull the 90 threads that my project is gonna use and put it in the bag and then I can just you know order a DMC thread every now and then in Sweden and complete the um, my collection you know whatever so uh, so I was very happy about the um, uh, the floss body I would like to have I would like to have one of these for all my projects but I mean it was pretty expensive so I think I, I paid around 80 bucks for for this plus shipping so that that that's um, I mean I, I can't afford that and I would love to stitch one no not stitch one so one myself but I think it's amazing that we have people out there who's making things like this it's very nice I think I'm pretty sure I will try to invest in maybe a 24 so I can have that for um, like a sampler or something and then have that in project bags or whatever so very nice I'm very happy about that so that was uh, all the haul I have I have no more to show mm. and um, I can see that uh, I've been going on at it for quite a while um, I have to say one more thing and it has nothing to do <laughs> with cross stitching um, I do watch a lot of floss too but today I felt like no I just need a little break from it and went back to listening to my audiobook I'm listening to Chris Carter could it be that in English it's called the crucifix killer I'm sorry I'm gonna hurry up I need to no it's not gonna work I will talk about it in my stitch and chat later on but it's Chris Carter I think he has three books maybe and wow if you like exciting like police murder I think it's like he's a serial killer oh my god I almost felt sick when I started listening to it I was like oh <laughs> this is some nasty stuff but very exciting if you like uh, those kind of audiobooks I can highly recommend Chris Carter yes um, so yeah I will leave you with that uh, I'm enjoying all of the floss tubes out there um, very much all of them uh, and for all my new subscribers thank you very much for subscribing if you're watching and if you haven't subscribed yet please do I am like 
heaven and earth crazy person. I have it all. I have like 90, no, 19 whips. And then I have like sorted out almost just as many that I'm not, not going to stitch. Anyway, uh, so if you want to see more of that, don't forget to subscribe. And to all of you who has been sus subscribing for a while, thank you very much. I love you all. Thank you for returning. And just uh, enjoy the 24-hour cross stitch this weekend. And uh, enjoy the weekend. Enjoy the summer, even if it's raining or not. Yes. <laughs> I'm tired today. Now I'm going to go back to uh, my long dog sampler and stitch that for a while. Then I think I might bring out the 310 and dig into my resistant training, <laughs> resistance training by James C. Christensen. Have a good one. Bye.